Merhaba, nasılsınız? Hi. People love babies. And what is better than two tiny babies with the exact same DNA? Yes, I am talking about twins. Twins are two babies that are born during the same pregnancy. Twin fascination is a real thing. Literature is sprinkled with famous twins such as Aurora Mazda and Angra Manu, the ancient Persian twin brothers. Or from pop culture, Ashley and Mary Kay Olsen. But of course there are different types of twins. It depends on the development in the womb what types of twins they are. That's right. First we have identical or monozygotic twins. Like you said earlier, these have pretty much the same DNA because they come from from the same zygote. Zygote is the first cell that is formed when a sperm fertilizes the egg to become an embryo. Identical twins are formed when the zygote splits into two in the first couple of days. These twins will typically look almost exactly the same and will share the same biological sex. And then there are fraternal twins or dizygotic twins. These happen when multiple sperms fertilize multiple eggs. So they don't come from the same egg. These twins don't have to share the same sex and they can actually look quite different. In fact, Ashley has a fraternal twin brother. While they are called twins, genetically they are no closer than her other siblings that were born at different times. Although sometimes these processes can go wrong, especially if the twinning occurs later than the first week of the zygote. In this case, one embryo may be absorbed partially by another one and the twins will become conjoined in different arrangements. Health of the conjoined twins is very case specific and can range from normal to compromised. The most famous famous conjoined twins are Chang and Eng Bunker from Siam, Thailand. These brothers were joined by a band of flesh, cartilage and their fused livers at the torso. They traveled with P.T. Barnum's circus all around the world and that is exactly why the conjoined twins are also known as Siamese twins. Unfortunately, twinning is a very complex phenomenon. There are cases where one twin absorbs the other one almost completely except for a few body appendages, such as a leg or an arm. In this case, we get what is called a parasitic twin that did not form completely, such as the case in Lakshma Tatva. Sometimes surgeons are able to separate them with surgery, maybe taking up to 10 to 30 hours. Twins are actually very useful for scientific discoveries. Twins have been used in experiments to understand how genetics and psychology work. Well, I actually had a teacher in elementary school ask if I could read my twin brother's thoughts. I remember thinking at the time that was really weird, but of course we both went home and tried it. Unfortunately, it did not work out for us. That's expected. Unlike popular belief, twins do not have any telepathic connection. They cannot feel each other's pain or they cannot read each other's minds. Unfortunately, especially during World War II, it was recorded that some Nazi doctors and scientists did inhumane experiments on twins. Even in the late 60s, five sets of twins and a set of triplets were unethically separated at birth to study the long-standing question of nature versus nurture. The study ended in 1980, but the results of this study are sealed until 2066 for ethical reasons, so we won't know until then. Nowadays, we are better at studying twins more ethically. A more recent experiment was done with twin astronauts John and Scott Kelly to see the impact of long-term space living. Scott was sent to the International Space Station and John remained here on Earth. Before the experiment started, both underwent a lot of tests and after John returned to Earth, they were both analyzed again. The results from this study are ongoing, but scientists have already seen the impact of space on DNA, protein biochemistry, cognitive performance, telomere links, and microbiome of the GI tract in their early analyses. Since identical twins have almost the exact same DNA, this gives us an extraordinary opportunity for research purposes. By the way, we sometimes say exact same genes, but actually even identical twins do not necessarily share the exact same DNA. They almost always have mutations in their genes that causes them to have different genomes. But in general, we assume that they have identical DNA since it is the closest we can get. One last thing. As you might guess, twinning occurs naturally as the mother may have a tendency to release more than one egg during ovulation and they can both become fertilized with sperm. But typically most women release one egg per month 
and if that one goes through a mitosis, you get maternal twins. The tendency to have twins does have some genetic basis. Research has shown that twinning rates are different around the world, with Asia having some of the lowest rates and Central Africa having the highest. Just like in the case for other animals, women can also have multiple fathers fertilize two different eggs, but it is rare. <laughs> Isn't biology fascinating? All right, so that's all from us today. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you would like to support our YouTube adventure, please consider donating to us on Patreon. Also, if you want to read more about twins, definitely check out the Minnesota Twin Study that was over the course of 20 years and followed almost 140 different twins and has had 700 different publications come out of that research. Until next time, stay curious, my friends. Pushta Kalin.